Welcome to the startup guide for the Samsung Reclaim on Ting. The Reclaim is a slider feature phone with a full portrait QWERTY thumb keyboard hidden under its 2.4 inch screen. You may be asking yourself why we're doing a Ting unboxing with a Sprint branded phone. Ting uses the nationwide Sprint network to provide its network services, and that also means we need Sprint approved handsets. So ignore the branding and know that Ting has your back if you need any help with the network or your phone. Let's open the box. The first thing we see is the phone on the right, and the phone's manual on the left. Removing the cardboard inserts, we find the Reclaim's charger, and on the bottom right, the battery. To insert the battery, flip the phone over and press upward on the battery back. The back will pop up and can be pulled off. Line up the contacts on the battery with the contact pins on the phone, and press in and then down to insert the battery. On the right side of the Reclaim, we see the camera button. The charging port and micro SD card slots are hidden behind these little doors. There's a 512 megabyte card already installed in the phone. To insert the card, push downward with your fingernail until you feel a click. Below the micro SD slot is the charging port. Grab the charger that came in the box and plug it into an electrical outlet. Plug the smaller end into your phone to begin charging. On the front of the device, we see the notification light is lit to indicate that we're charging. Below the 2.4 inch screen, we have several buttons. The top left and top right buttons are context sensitive. You'll see their current functions listed on the screen immediately above them. The speaker button can be used for voice recognition, which we'll cover in a later episode in this series. In the center, we have a circular direction button we can use to navigate phone menus, and an OK button to confirm a selection. To the right, the back button steps you back one screen at a time. Press and hold for a second to go straight back to the home screen. At the very bottom, we have the green call and red call end buttons. The red button doubles as the power button. Press and hold for a little more than a second to power the phone down. Press again to turn it back on. Sliding the screen upward, we reveal the QWERTY keyboard. The keyboard is backlit. This backlight will turn off when you close the slider or when the screen times out and goes dark. With the slider up, we can see the 2 megapixel camera on the back of the Reclaim. We'll cover the camera in some depth in a later video in this series. To the right of the camera lens is a small self-portrait mirror which we can use to snap gratuitous profile pics. On the left side of the Reclaim, we see the volume up and down rocker. We also see the 3.5mm headphone jack hidden behind a dust cover. This jack is a three-stage, which means that in addition to stereo sound, you can also use a headset with inline microphone to talk hands-free. Be sure to watch the other parts in this video startup guide for the Samsung Reclaim from Ting. We'll cover calls, text messaging, using the camera, customizing your phone, using social media services, and much more. Enjoy your new phone.